Taking out my rock threes, taking out T-birds, firebirds, wraiths, all my putters. And then I got a justice. This is the one thing that's in my bag already, so. But everything else is new to me, so let's do this. All right, so when I started playing, really the only two big companies that there were were Innova and Discraft. And Discraft at the time, like the, they still had the Force, which was really good. They had just recently come out with the Nuke. But other than that, they had the Zone, which was amazing, and the Buzz. And outside of that, they didn't really have a whole lot of great discs. So most people who began to play around that time, they mainly threw Innova, because Innova was everywhere. And they had the T-Bird, the Firebird, the Destroyer, the, they had everything. So when I started playing, I mainly started playing with Innova. So pretty much my bag hasn't changed a whole lot since I even started playing. I started playing with, with T-Birds and Rocks, and then I had a, a Buzz in my bag, and then I added a Zone in like 2012, like a year after I started playing, a year or two after I started playing. And those are all discs that are still in my bag, but that's pretty much been my bag is all Innova, and I love Innova. They're just those, those molds are amazing. But now, other companies have come around, they've made a lot of solid molds, and you can pretty much change your whole bag and cover those staples now. And so that's what I'm gonna do today. Oh, it's cold. Oh. Now, Got Fuse, two Emac Truce, a Lucid X Verdict, got a Maverick, a Vader, Felons, a Lucid X Felon, Ballista Pro, gotta make it do everything today, a couple Biofusion Enforcers, Putter, just got my Emac Judge, and then I got a Justice, but everything else is new to me, so let's do this. All right, hole two, 280. The basket's down then by the trees to the left. I usually like to just take a nice stable mid, pump it down the middle, let the disc finish to the left towards the basket. I'll see how it goes. So what I hope to show in this video is that really any company out there has really solid discs. Like back when I started playing, there were only a couple good ones, but now that all the other companies have gotten more established, they're just as good as Discraft or Innova. Just because a pro is not winning worlds with a certain, with a certain company, then it doesn't, it doesn't matter. Paul and Beth could literally go with any company out there and win worlds. It, it, it doesn't matter about the plastic, the discs are all great, but yeah, let's see how this keeps going. All right, starting to get windy. Thought that Evader would be stable enough to hold the ante. Didn't, but it didn't turn and burn though. It still hit a branch, but I was hoping it would flex out a little bit towards the basket, didn't. That's fine, still get up and down for a par. So a few things about why that might have been over, a less overstable than I had anticipated. One is it's used. So big thanks to a friend, my friend Wes. He let me borrow pretty much his whole bag <laughs> to do this video. But it is a used Emac Truth, so it probably would have hold, held up if it was a new one or even a Lucid X one. But probably should have thrown my uh, Lucid X verdict. That's the difference between knowing your discs and not knowing your discs. I didn't know that disc would turn in that wind. I thought it would be stable. It didn't, so now I'm looking at a circle's edge putt instead of a 10 foot putt. That's also the difference between an amateur and a touring professional is that Two and professional could probably make those 35 footers outside the circle in a 25 mile per hour headwind. I cannot, not regularly. Just 
you ever play in a time where it's so cold that when the disc rips from your hand, it hurts your fingers? That's what it is right now. That drive really hurt. All right, here's a little tip for you. Got a short approach, it's a low ceiling, it's around the corner, so I need to skip. A lot of people will say, well, it's an approach, you need to throw a mid or a putter, and since you need that skip to the left and go for the far left around the corner, you need an overstable disc. So they'll tell you zone, mutant, justice. No, 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 no. Straight distance driver. The speed will keep it under the ceiling, and since you're throwing it such a short distance, it's gonna hook up and skip to the left because it's, the rim is so big. Yeah, just because the distance drivers aren't made to be an approach disc, if you know your discs well enough, you can throw them for approaches and have the more touchy up shot and not have to throw as hard. And because you're not throwing as hard, you can more easily hit your gaps and make the shot. So it's a little tip for you. So my approach was over under that tree or over there behind those trees. I went all the way around, all the way, skipped over here, skipped past the basket. Look at that. Skipped past the basket. That's what I'm telling you. If you need to get far left on a skip, the mutant or justice and all that, that's not it. Get a distance driver, power down, have it skip. It'll get you further left on those shorter approaches, especially on that lower ceiling. In order to get a justice or a mutant there on that lower ce ceiling, you'd have had to rip on it. And if you ripped on it, then you're more likely to have missed your shot. So. All right, so one of the biggest things I'm noticing with these Trilogy discs is the stock ones are not as overstable as Innova. So if you go to Innova and get a stock T-Bird per se, I feel like that stock T-Bird or T-Bird 3 is gonna be more stable than a stock Evader, for instance. Even with Felons versus Firebirds, the stock Felons are not gonna be as overstable as the stock Firebirds, but it's not, it's not a bad thing because those stock ones are more workable out of the box. So with Innova, if you want those discs to be more workable, you're gonna have to beat them up. But with these, like this Evader is a lot more workable and a lot more different lines out of the box than a T-Bird 3 is. But the thing is with Trilogy, they have options that are more overstable. So you can get those Lucid X Evaders, the Lucid X Felons, but like I said, the discs that I have aren't as overstable and it's a little tough in these 20, 25 mile per hour winds, but if I had a Lucid X one, that would be great. I will say though, the Biofusion Enforcers, very nice in these winds. I have a little bit of beat up one and that one flips a little bit for me, but this brand new one that I have, the Biofusion, it holds up real nice. It goes nice and straight, doesn't turn. It's beautiful. All right, so through 18, that's how I did, if you're curious. Now, would I change my bag to Trilogy? No, but hear me out. So this is, this is one of the biggest reasons why most people who have played the game for a long time haven't changed. It's not because there's some elitist club or uh, they think Innova is better than everybody else. The main reason why a lot of people haven't switched is just because I'm familiar with my bag. Like I said before, my bag hasn't really changed a whole lot since I started the game. I've tried a few other discs here and there, but I always end up going back to the main staples in my bag just because I know them 
one, and two, I have a lot of those discs that I know I like. I know which run runs I like, I have the runs that I like, and I know how they fly and all these situations because I've been throwing them for years. For you, you might have a few of those molds and five, six, seven years from now, you might still be throwing them. And when those new molds come out, they're just as good, but you're gonna have the same feelings. You're gonna stick with what you know. You're gonna keep them because you know how they play in every situation. And that's kind of why I'm sticking to my Innova bag. But what about you? Do you throw just one company or do you throw Innova, Trilogy? What do you throw and why? Do you use it because you just know those discs and that's what you've always thrown? Or is it really because you are loyal to that company? Or if you think they're better than everyone else? Let's uh, talk about it in the comments. Or if I just missed a mold. I know I missed a harp. I wish I had that in these wins. But what do you throw? Or do you throw a completely mixed bag? Let's talk about it in the comments. Otherwise, see you in the next one.